Hello everybody. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a uh, Lychee on the DJI Smart Controller. So we're going to go through the process of first installing the Play Store as it is a dependency of Lychee and Lychee only works if it's installed through the Play Store. And if you sideload it, it doesn't work because it does have Google Framework dependencies as well as it needs to talk to the Play Store itself for verifying licenses and things like that. So that's coming up in this video. So the first thing we want to do is go to the browser, Lightning browser here. And as I stated before, Lychee has to be installed through the Play Store. It's the only way to get it. Uh, Siloading is no go as Lychee has some dependencies and it does require you to download it through the Play Store. So we're going to go ahead and search into Google for Google installer. And don't worry, typing Google into Google doesn't blow it up for real. And then here we'll just click the first link, Google installer 2.0. And then we'll click later, we accept uh, the cookies. So here I am on up to down and we'll click latest version. And then wait for the download. To, and then we push download. The download button, once we push that, the download should then begin. Click allow, of course, click download. And then here on the top, on the info and the notifications, we can see that the download is complete. So next thing you want to do is launch that and install it. And you'll see it very quick and then we click done. Now you'll see once we go back to the home screen, we have a new app here called Google Installer. So what you want to do next is launch that and then push this install button. And it will download the dependencies that are needed before you can download the Play Store. So the first dependency we need for Play Store is the Google Services Framework. So we'll install that. And then click done and then it will download the next dependency which is the Google accounts manager and we'll just wait for it to download that app and now Google accounts manager is ready to install we'll install that and then click done and next in the list we have to install Google Play services which is also a dependency of, uh, of, for Lychee so we definitely need to get that because the Play Store and Lychee both depend on Google Play services to function as Lychee actually runs on Google Maps rather than Mapbox like DJI uses or another uh, mapping service. Lychee actually runs off Google Maps itself. So Google Play services is a must. So this is a big one. So we'll just give this an extra second to download. It's nearly done. And there it is, so Google Play services. So we'll install that. As I said, it's a requirement for the Play Store and for Lychee itself to run. And we'll just let this install. This is a big app with a lot of dependent, a lot of uh, dependencies and permissions. So. Now that we've installed that, the next app we have to install is Google Calendar Sync because that is also a dependency of Google Services Framework and the Play Store. So we'll install that and click done. And lastly, uh, and, and then lastly, once we've installed all the other dependencies, the last app it will ask you to install itself is uh, the Play Store. It's the Play Store itself rather. And so if all goes well, now if we return to the home screen, we can see we now have two apps, the Google Installer alongside the Play Store. Now we actually do not need Google Installer anymore once we've installed the Play Store and I do recommend you go ahead and uninstall that. Now if you're worried about security, one thing I will say is that the Play Store itself, once you launch the Play Store on its first launch, it will actually um, go ahead and update itself from Google servers. So even if you're worried that this app was pulling a dodgy version of the Play Store from some kind of dodgy internet server, once you launch the Play Store itself, it immediately contacts Google servers and all those apps that we just installed gets updated to their official versions from the Google server. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the Play Store. Now, of course, you will have to have a Google account in order to use the Play Store. 
So next, what you want to do is go ahead and log into your Google account to, to use the Play Store. Now, what you might want to do is if you do have an Android device that already has Lightyear installed, you probably will want to use that same uh, Google account to log into uh, the Play Store on the smart controller. Now, once you've actually um, logged, once you've actually put your email and your password, and you've logged in, you will have to agree to the terms of use through the Play Store. So we'll just click Agree, and with any luck, we should be greeted with the Play Store's uh, main screen in just a moment. And there we are. So what I want to show you is actually we actually do get uh, a very old version of the Play Store initially. But what will happen is that once you download the Play Store, whatever version it is, the Play Store will then contact Google servers and it will then itself uh, update all itself as well as all its dependencies to the latest uh, version that you would get on, on any uh, smartphone. So once the Play Store has finished installing, you can then of course obviously go into the search bar and type, uh, make sure it's on app, sorry, and type Litchi. and here you can see the app and you can then uh, download it and install it and then once now once the installation of Litchi has completed you will want to go ahead and open the app now for the first time launching Litchi, you will want to make sure you're on a Wi-Fi connection because uh, to use the DJI API that the controllers used to talk and the apps used to talk to the drone, the, any third party apps need to contact DJI servers to request a token that they can then keep in the app that allows them to access the API. So if you're not on Wi-Fi for, for the first time you launch the app and set it up, then what you'll find out is if you go out into the field and try to set up Lychee without Wi-Fi, uh, and it can't and you can't connect to the GI servers then you will have a problem so another thing uh, I, I've just noticed as soon as I launched Litchi it's requiring you to update to the latest version of Google Play services so that version we did actually install was a bit out of date and the Play Store if you left it alone would eventually do this but we can go ahead and help it along by clicking update and it then brings you to the correct page on the Play Store and you just want to go ahead and update to the latest version of Google Play services like I said if you left uh, if you left uh, the controller alone this is something you would do eventually the Play Store would check uh, that it's dependency are, are the latest version and would require you to update them uh, would download actually would download and update them automatically so anyway um, so Lychee requires you to have the latest version of Google Play services so let's go ahead and do that Now, once Google Play services has finished installing, there isn't actually a button or anything to press. You simply want to click the back button and return yourself back to the Lychee app. And now once the Google Play services has finished installing, you can then go back to Lychee and finish the setup. Now for demonstration, and that's it. You now have Lychee installed. So, and that's it. Now Lychee is installed. You don't, um, you don't even need to keep the Play Store app itself installed, but you do need to keep the Google Services Framework uh, application installed. In fact, I do recommend that when you want to go fly, you could uninstall the Play Store app, and then whenever you need to do an update or you want to download another app, then you can download the Play Store again because it is a bit of a battery hog, but. In all honesty, I recommend just leaving the Play Store alone. Don't really mess with the Google stuff because Lychee will start to give you trouble um, if it can. Now, one last thing is that if you are going to be doing uh, any type of talkback uh, um, talk back functionality in, uh, in Lychee, I highly recommend you to go ahead and download the Google 
the Google text-to-speech engine rather than the built-in Pico engine, which sounds like complete garbage. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll switch on the drone. And we can't we can see if we can get uh, Lychee to talk to it now we will not take off in the house this is merely to prove that they're communicating with each other so obviously once the drone is switched on if we do launch into the DJI Go app we can see we're getting the option to go fly and we can actually see the camera view here uh, in the app so what you want to do a lot of times lychee if it's refusing to connect it means that the dji go app is actually running in the background and even if you haven't opened the app what you'll want to do is go into the dji go app press back and then you'll see a message at the bottom of the screen saying press back again to exit when you see that message press back again so press back press back again to exit now now that dji go is closed lychee should be able to then communicate with the drone with any luck and there we go so here we have Lychee running and operating on the uh, DJI uh, Mavic 2 but it would work with any uh, any of the DJI drones that uh, is supported by Lychee uh, we can see the camera view is working and we could even launch and go for a quick flight if we weren't indoors but like I said, you definitely want to do the first setup of Lychee indoors with Wi-Fi so that Lychee can connect to DJI servers and get that authorization to use the DJI's proprietary API that the controller uses to talk to the drone. Um, but after that, after this initial setup, once uh, you have Lychee working here in the house, it will work forever uh, in the field unless an update really messes things up. So anyway, um, it seems that that's the end of the video. So one thing I want to say uh, lastly, uh, so one thing I want to say lastly is that, again, don't forget that many times if you, if you turn off, uh, if, you, if you first start the controller, the DJI Go app will start running in the background. So if DJI Go is running in the background, and I'll show you that scenario, If DJI Go is running in the background, so you see the DJI Go is running in the background, it's linked to the drone. Now, even though it looks like DJI Go is closed, if we try to launch Lychee, Lychee will not connect to the drone. Right? Well, oh, okay. Uh, never mind. So guys, thanks for watching this video on, yeah. So guys, I want to say thank you for watching this video on how to set up Lychee as well as the Play Store on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and uh, how to get it, how to get it running. Hello droney. And so of course, uh, as well as Lychee, there's many benefits to having Play Store installed on the smart controller including the ability to install a whole host of drone related apps from a very verified and secure source as the google play store um, google uh, does not allow any nonsense apps or mal malicious software apps to be on the app store uh, they remove them and so it's a very safe source for getting uh, all your drone related apps and so that's the end of this video thank you for watching and uh goodbye you be quiet. <laughs> and you be quiet too. And you go give me a baby girl. <laughs>